Hello there guys, welcome back to Unis Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today. You know, I was meant to be dropping a Reddit video today, um, just to start this off because I want to explain a few things, um, and there wasn't meant to be a Chelsea news video, I just thought let me do a Reddit video, I'll give you my England preview, but things have gone crazy, and um, <laughs> I recorded the Reddit video, and the files ended up being corrupted. I can't open it. I couldn't edit it. I tried to recover it. It didn't work. Sound was all over the place. It's just not playable. So I haven't been able to edit it. It's a shame I went through about 20 minutes of the Reddit page. And some of the things you posted were hilarious. Honestly, hilarious. But I can't release it. And for me to do it again would be completely unnatural. So what I'm going to do is I am going to wait for next Monday. Um, or next... Next week, basically, next Monday, you will be getting the first Reddit video with more new material. And if I come across anything I've already seen, I'll let you guys know. But um, I've got to keep it natural, people. Now, for those of you that have posted, thank you all so much. It was brilliant stuff on the Reddit page. I'll leave a link right here if you haven't joined the Reddit page already. So make sure you check it out. But I've awarded a few awards out already. So that was meant to be caught on camera. And it was, but I can't publish a video. So do check. If you are one of the ones that have received an award, you know you posted something absolutely fantastic. So thank you all so much. Let's get into today's video. Today's video is going to be a transfer-related video, a more news video, and then I will be giving you my England-Germany preview tomorrow morning. So keep your eyes peeled for that one, because tomorrow it's going to go down. I am doing a reaction to France versus Switzerland later tonight on Twitch, if you are watching before the game starts. If not, then just ignore. But um, yeah, Twitch link in the description. But for now, let's get into some transfer news. And we have some good news. <laughs> we have some good news for you guys. This is not just in relation to one or two players, but we've got links on about three or four here. So let's jump into it, and then I'll give you guys my reaction. Let's check this out. So we have the latest from CFC News page. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is a page on Instagram with very reliable information in and around Chelsea Football Club. So the latest from CFC News page is Dortmund talking with Chelsea about a potential Haaland fee. Petr Cech heavily pushing for too many. Meeting planned with his agent soon. Thomas Tuchel wants Varane but want, but he wants 250000 a week. Kunde is also targeted and Sam Johnston is identified as a backup. Now what I'm going to do firstly I'm going to leave those last three uh, till after I've made this point. Let's jump into the Haaland news because the Haaland news has a bit more substance. We now apparently know the fee that it's going to take for Dortmund to accept. Do you want to you want to know what it is? Let's check. This is from Dean Jones Soccer. Dean Jones, um, who writes for Bleacher Report, if I'm not mistaken, but Dean Jones went on to um, the Football Terrace and explained what he knows. Here it is. So he says. Um, if Roman Abramovich is able to pay what it takes to get Haaland now, then I think he'll do it. A Dortmund source told me it would be around £160 million to get Haaland this summer. Now, that's not £160 million. There's a typo here. As Simon Phillips goes on to explain, there's Dean Jones on the football terrace, but as he goes on to explain, it says £137 million. Sorry, final answer. But then someone corrects him here and says no, 160 million euros is 125 million pounds. And Simon replies with well spotted, he did say euros, even better. So it's going to take 125 million pounds to get Erling Haaland to Chelsea. If, if that is the deal, oh my God, snap their fingers off now. Give them 130. You can give them 125 with 5 million change. Yeah, and they can keep the change. Yeah, the change that you wanted to give us, we'll give it to you and you can keep it. That's how good of a deal this is. £125 million for Erling Haaland. Hell yes. Yes, please. Deal done right now. Let's go. Let's get him to the bridge immediately. That is an unbelievable number. It's so unbelievable. I'm inclined to not believe it. You know, Dean Jones has said this on the football terrace. It, is this actually true? Now, the thing with Dean Jones is when it comes to the Bundesliga, when it comes to Borussia Dortmund specifically, he is quite reliable and he was driving quite a lot of the Sancho news to Man United, which it looks like now he has got absolutely spot on. 
So if it comes to Erling Haaland and he's saying this sort of thing, 125 million pounds. Oh my God. Please get the deal done now. If, right, if I'm Roman Abramovich, yeah, and I want Chelsea to sign Haaland, and I hear that, that it's going to take 160 million euros, it's going to take 125 million pounds for us to get Haaland to Chelsea, I'll be on the phone in two minutes. Yeah, I'll make sure I get everything I want done and then I will get onto the blower to Borussia Dortmund telling them, yo, you got Erling Haaland. You ha what's your asking price? Is it 160 million euros? Okay, look, I have 170 million euros. Do you want it? <laughs> Simple. I would give them, as I've said, 125 million with 5 million tips just for the person negotiating at Dortmund. Yeah, here you go. Here's 5 million on me. Have a drink. Have a have a dinner on me. Have have a have a I don't know. Have a cruise trip away from me. Have have whatever you want. Have a holiday on me. Have whatever you want on me. 5 million tips. Cuz that's how good this is. Now, we'll see what happens. But I, as I said in yesterday's video, Chelsea need to get their act together. And they need to get it done quick. They need to get it done now. So fingers crossed that is going to happen. Now, the other names that we saw uh, mentioned um, by CFC News page was Czech pushing heavily for too many. Now, that is, that is believable. That is something I look at and I go, yeah, you know what? Because those links with too many came from a little while ago. And there was quite a few people saying, yeah, Chelsea are interested in him as the backup to Declan Rice. And if Declan Rice can't happen, too many will happen. So I'm inclined to think this is legit, especially with the way that Declan Rice is performing at the Euros, the price tag, all of that. Not to say he's playing badly at, for, for, for England, he's not. But he's not lighting up the show like I think a few of you expected to. But on top of that, the price tag, it's it's. It's starting to look unrealistic, if I'm honest. It's starting to look unrealistic. Especially if we're signing Erling Haaland. We're not going to be splashing 80 million on a Declan Rice. I just don't think that's good business when you have an option like too many that you can get for possibly a third of the price that you can get Declan Rice for. So too many being pushed heavily by Petr Cech, I understand. If there's a meeting planned with his agent soon, that makes complete sense. And to be honest, we are in the market for a midfielder. For someone that is going to come in as a fourth option, I think, with Billy Gormore going off on loan. You know, Kante, Jorginho, Kovacic, we need one more. I think too many would be the perfect profile. I think Declan Rice, yes, good player. The one issue with him, not necessarily just the price tag and whatnot, but I think he is someone that expects to be starting every game. When you got Kante, Jorginho and Kovacic, you can't expect to start every game unless if you are one of the best midfielders in the world. You know, it's just not going to happen. So too many, I think, would come in and be okay with that. And that's why I think this would actually be a good deal because he's a, he's a baller. He's a strong lad. He's, he's a fast midfielder and he's someone that I think can slot in quite well in the circumstances that we need him for. So too many, I think, yes, that would be a better deal than Declan Rice at Chelsea FC. Now, the other ones that I saw, Tuchel wants Varane, but he wants 250k. I don't think that's happening in the first place. I think that's going to go down, if, if it does go down, the same route as Hakimi, because he's a defender. I just don't think we're going to be in for a defender, if I'm completely honest. I mean, Varane would be a great, great buy. Let's, let's have it right. But um, I don't see it happening. And especially at that at that uh, wage salary, um, I don't think that's going to happen. Kunde being spoken about, this is someone that I know a lot of you were talking about months ago. And his name was mentioned. Kunde. Kunde. What about Kunde? Um, well, now it looks like there could be an actual link with Kunde. So we'll see what happens. But again, in terms of defenders, it's not a necessity. It's nice to have, but it's not a necessity. We'll see what happens, though. Sam Johnston being identified as the backup. Now, this is where it gets a bit tasty. And this is something I can be on board with. Why? Because Kepa, we know, isn't going to be sticking around to just be number two or to be the bench goalkeeper. We just know that's not going to be the case. And I do think that a possible move will be happening sometime soon. We know he's not going to just stick around to be, as I've said, number two to Edouard Mendy. Mendy is the number one. It's as simple as that. And you can't ask for more than what Mendy is giving you right now. As a goalkeeper... He is doing everything that a goalkeeper a goalkeeper can possibly do. So Edouard Mendy stays at number one. We need a good backup. 
Kepa's not going to be that backup. Yes, he's a good backup, but he's not happy with that. He is going to be end up going. He's going to end up going for two reasons. Because he wants to play his football, and I completely understand that, at his age, of course. And Chelsea want to try and get as much of the 70 million back as possible. <laughs> we splashed 71 million on this guy. It's logical that Chelsea want to try and get as much money back as possible. So, we need him to play. We need him to be wanted. We need him to possibly go on a loan with a move, possibly... Of a permanent. You know, we'll see. If a permanent deal can be done, cool. But we have to try and up his value a little bit. And a loan move will probably be the best deal. Now, if that happens, we need a backup. Sam Johnston would fit that breed. England international now. You know, yes, he's been called up. He's not going to play, but he's been called up. Um, Premier League experience. It has done quite well. Um, in the Premier League and fair play to Sam Johnston and if he were to come to Chelsea he'd know his role he'd know his level he'd look at that and go whoa okay I'm at Chelsea Football Club right now I'm a backup I understand that I work my hardest but I know exactly what I need to do and I know where I stand I know where my level is and I think he would be content with that especially with an Edouard Mendy as a number one I think the levels are perfect you need a good backup with someone satisfied as a backup Kepa's not satisfied as a backup Sam Johnston would be satisfied as a backup with the intention to try and become number one and push himself we'll see what happens young lad as well hopefully it works out that would actually be a good move but let me know in the comments what you would do are you happy with all these rumors today it's a lot of them but let me know in terms of the Haaland fee 125 million pounds let me know I'd love to hear that let me know about too many and the Czech links of well Czech heavily pushing for him apparently let me know about Varane or Kunde which one would you go for and let me know about Sam Johnston coming in as backup to replace Kepa I'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts in the comment section below thank you so much hit that subscribe button if you are new hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded uh, smash like button if you've enjoyed this once again I apologize no reddit video I was meant to release that today it was a banger I enjoyed doing it but it's impossible thanks to tech technical difficulties so i apologize again but the first reddit video will be coming next monday and it's going to be a good one and i'll make sure there's no errors this time but thank you all so much i'll see all of you tomorrow for the england preview and the england review i don't think there'll be a chelsea video tomorrow and i'll be doing a twitch stream of the england game so make sure you're there for that one and i'm doing a twitch stream for france switzerland as i've already said so catch it if you can i'll see all of you tomorrow have a good one look after yourselves take care and peace